right, we come to our last video on thriving. And this one is called Thriving Through Autonomy, Owning My Decisions, Authoring My Story. So quick review, I thrive when I enjoy and look forward to skillful working, giving and receiving care, taking responsibility for my commitments and choices. So that's competence, relatedness, autonomy. Those are the three ways we're choosing to break down the essential elements of thriving. And we're going to talk about autonomy in detail now. So what do we mean by autonomy? Well, just as a word, auto means from within. Nomos in Greek means law. So to be a law to oneself uh, is one way to think about it. So let's just read this. My autonomy is my taking, taking responsibility for the decisions and commitments I make in my life. It is owning the authorship of my own story, refusing to understand my life as merely following a script written by someone else. Autonomy is claiming my life is happening by me, not merely to me. And so autonomy is taking control of the authorship of your life. It's not blaming the world for your own shortcomings. It's not blaming your past for uh, what has happened to you, but it's always recognizing that all you can do is go forward from where you are. And then the question is, are you just the push-pull of the world, or can you make decisions and go forward as a law unto yourself, or are you always just reacting to uh, what the world has um, so made you do? And let's really take seriously this notion of taking responsibility. It's not just accepting responsibility. Autonomy, as we're defining it, is you're, you're looking for more responsibility. You're taking responsibility that you don't have to take or accept. You're taking it. You're voluntarily taking it. And so in my own life, uh, again, unfortunately, uh, I, I not only didn't take responsibility, I actively shed and resisted virtually all responsibility uh, in my own life growing up and uh, dug myself a huge hole because of it. I made some key decisions, uh, which we'll talk about later, that uh, forced me to grow and to take responsibility, literally, because there wasn't anyone else around to, to blame. Um, but uh, really in my 30s, and then into my 40s, started realizing like, wow, the, what, a, what, a, what a, a privilege to be able to take more responsibility than is thrown at me and, and that's like everything good in my life has come from my taking more responsibility than I had to. Uh, yeah, I would just talk about specific missed opportunities. Um, I, I played sports when I was younger. I was good at them, I was, had some natural ability, but uh, didn't take responsibility for being good at them and getting good at them, never owned the sport never owned being an athlete. I just liked winning, and uh, what uh, because I didn't own that responsibility, I got worse and worse, and then couldn't compete anymore. Eventually, um, and that was uh, no good. Also, all my siblings went off to summer camp, um, and because I was the youngest, maybe nobody really cared. By the time I was growing up, nobody encouraged me to or signed me up to, and. And uh, I chose not to go. I almost certainly could have gone, and that would have made me grow in, in, in interesting ways, but I didn't do it. I missed that opportunity. And then in school, I just didn't take any responsibility. Uh, I was a system gamer and, and, and figured out how to get good grades without working or learning and, and make my way through the system and... and uh, uh, I was uh, a, just an incompetent and weak person when I left high school because of my complete lack of autonomy. So if these help you at all, here are key acts of autonomy in, in, in my life. 
the one constant here is that these were not accepting responsibility. This was taking responsibility. In every case, it was doing something I didn't have to that called upon a whole new set of skills and self-reliance to figure out how to do it right and, and how to make my way. And uh, virtually all of the great things in my life uh, flow directly from these acts. Again, for whatever it's worth, um, that one of the keys was probably the first huge one was de decision to study abroad, got me away from my party hound friends, um, put me in a foreign country, put me uh, uh, in a situation where I had to feed myself and, and take care of myself and be a, a, a reservoir of, of self-compassion and, and empathy in ways that I never had before. And uh, start t taking classes that and focusing on my classwork in ways that I never had to because I always had people there to distract me and entertain me and and uh, it led to an inwardness and depth um, that I didn't know I had uh, the single biggest uh, decision in my life probably uh, and next probably the, the decision to travel and write in the summers so to to travel to Italy and to travel to Santa Fe and write and make myself uh, come up with uh, understandings and, and articulations of what's important that I have never had to before and to be emotionally self-reliant and be far from home and take care of myself and and uh, again draw upon strengths that I didn't know I had and and all the different windows and people I met and all the different paths that that's opened up for me uh, just extraordinary And now in my own life, I'm focusing on a day-to-day -day basis and on a longer-term basis, like how do I take full responsibility for myself? How do I uh, avoid blaming others? How do I always keep um, the responsibility on me for being positive and making a difference as opposed to whining or, or feeling that somebody's taking advantage of me or whatever? Hey, this is my life and it's my situation and I, I need to go forward in the best way possible uh, for myself and everybody. And then also just when I do tell the story of my life, when I do think of my life as a whole, to think of all those ways that I dropped the ball, that I didn't take, take advantage of, of opportunities and, and to realize that um, I had to make those mistakes and fight through those problems and suffer in order to get the right understanding and, and move forward in a good way. And that, uh, you know, my life is my life and I take responsibility for it and, and I affirm my life as a whole. So what does autonomy mean to me? Uh, it, 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 it means that I'm the author of my own life. It means I take responsibility for my mistakes and uh, that I don't whine and that uh, my life happens by me and not to me. I'm not just a plaything of, of fate. Um, I'm going to take responsibility for it. Uh, uh, fuck. So we're going to ask you... Uh, ways to assert your own autonomy um, and so here are here are some ideas that might help things click for you um, where do you take responsibility for your own well-being where could you where do you currently blame a teacher or a coach or your parents or a friend or or your lack of natural ability or whatever as opposed to um, uh, just making your going forward with as best you can to make things as, as good as you can, which is all you really have the, the potential to do, possibility to do anyway. Um, so where where do you blame others and where could you put that on yourself? Um, where is there a friend who, who could use your help, a peer, a community, a project, the mark, the marksman, some new club, some existing club? What class could you make better? Like where could you take responsibility? Stop thinking like, you know, should I accept responsibility or deflect it? Where can you take responsibility? Have you maxed out the responsibility that you can handle in your life? Don't take more than you, you can handle, but take as much as you can handle. Uh, where could you set out on an adventure during a holiday, during, during summer? But also just what course could be an adventure for you or what independent study could you make up? Or how could you put yourself on a course to go somewhere where you had to be self-reliant in a way that you currently aren't, and so you'd grow that way. 
that's just another way to really boost your autonomy. And then also just how do you frame your day? Do you frame your day as an autonomous person? Where this is my day, I'm gonna to learn today, I'm gonna to build today, what am I gonna learn and build today? Or are you just reactive? Where the world has given me all of these assessments and burdens and assignments and I have to like fret about them and try to get them all done. So takeaways, right? recall what we mean by thriving and put it in your own words. Recall what we mean by autonomy, put it in your own words. Give one example where you really have asserted your autonomy in your life in a way that matters to you. Like you, you, you almost certainly have done that. Like we'll give one example that's really mattered and, and how does it matter to you? How does it play out in your life in a good way? And then uh, you know, consider your academic, social, personal areas of your life and imagine a way you can take authorship in your, in your life. In each of those areas, sketch a plan. So try to come up with three ways in, in school life, uh, in, in some co community life, um, uh, and in your personal life.